Good day everyone! Welcome to SSE 14, Integrative Methods in Teaching Social Studies. Our venerable subject teacher, Sir Jesse Alde. Classmates, co-reporters, ladies and gentlemen, good morning! We are Group 1, and our report is all about thematic teaching in basic education. The first topic will be the planning instruction by yours truly, Gerson Habines, followed by Integrated Multidisciplinary Thematic Unit to be discussed to you by Ms. Maribeth Oret Villamore. After that, Ms. Shane Gamil Buntag will talk about the Integrated Interdisciplinary Thematic Unit. And lastly, we have Mr. Daryl Morsha Organisa to talk through interdisciplinary teaching teams. And now let's proceed to thematic teaching in basic education. What is thematic teaching? Thematic teaching starts with the identification of theme, the underlying concept that allows for the structure and organization of specific content across disciplines. The theme is the topic of interest that provides the core for group activities. It helps learners see meaningful connections across disciplines or learning areas, such as subjects. More importantly, themes provide relevance for the learners by drawing together concepts under one umbrella. Lessons could be studied thematically in social studies, for example, environmental hazards, wars and conflicts, human rights violation, economic progress, and the like. These themes could be developed also in reading, language, music, physical education, and art. Moreover, the dynamics of interactive teaching can produce themes that are meaningful, interesting, and cohesive. Thematic means that the same topic is used to develop the teaching plan, content, and instruction for each of the different subjects in which students are enrolled. Presented in this unit are two models in presenting thematic units. Number one, the integrated multidisciplinary thematic unit. Number two, the integrates interdisciplinary thematic unit. Both approaches use the following steps in planning instruction by Kello on 2003. Select a suitable topic or a theme. Select goals of the unit. Select suitable specific learning objectives. Detail the instructional procedures. Plan for pre-assessment and assessment of student learning. Provide for the materials for instruction. Let's talk about planning instruction. What is instructional planning? Is the ability of the teacher to visualize and forecast into the future of what, why, and how of the teaching learning process. What is planning? Planning is often called the primary management function because it establishes the basis for all the other things managers do organizing, leading, and controlling. It concerned with ends, what is to be done, as well as with means, how it's to be done. Instructional planning involves developing a systematic, organized strategy for planning lessons. Planning will give instructors confidence, guide content coverage, and help make good use of class time. Planning is a process whereby a direction is mapped and then the ways and means for following that direction are specified. A plan is the product of the planning process and can be defined as a set of decisions about what to do, why, and how to do it. For further explanation, we have Ms. Maribeth Orit Villamore. As a continuation about our topic, 
we will tackle about the integrated multidisciplinary thematic unit. But first, allow me to define what is a thematic unit. Thematic units are units of instruction that address a central theme. These are the instructional units that lead to the development of integrated study. Thematic units facilitate the crossing of boundaries between two or more disciplines. Here are 10 guidelines in preparing thematic units. First is choose a learning area in any grade or year level. Second, draw the content from the learning competencies. Third, identify the theme for the chosen learning competencies. Fourth, identify the disciplines or learning area that can help enhance the development of the theme and the supporting learning competencies. Fifth, select the appropriate teaching model or alternative teaching strategy that can be utilized in the conduct of the unit of study. Sixth, use the graphic organizers if needed. Seven, prepare appropriate readings for the core as well as for the other subtopics drawn from other disciplines or learning areas. Eight, use authentic assessment in the unit of study. Nine, provide learning tasks that are integrative and interactive. 10. Focus on learning tasks to the theme of the unit of study. Now that I already discussed to you what is a thematic unit, let us now proceed to what is an integrated multidisciplinary thematic unit. So, integrated multidisciplinary thematic unit. This is a modification of the undisciplinary teaching which addresses a single discipline. This attempts to combine two or more disciplines into single approach. Or, it draws related topics from multiple disciplines. So, in presentation of objectives in the Integrated Multidisciplinary Thematic Unit, the objectives are presented through different disciplines such as geography, history, values education, and music. So in presenting the content of instruction, the topics and discipline were both mentioned. Example, the topic is the Philippine Archipelago and its discipline is geography. Example number two, the foundation of the Katipunan and the discipline is history. Example number three, the topic is the teaching of the Kautipunan and the discipline is values education. And lastly, the songs of the Katipuneros and the discipline is music. That is how the objectives are being presented using integrated multidisciplinary thematic units. Use of teaching models. Teaching models are prescribed tested steps and procedures to effectively generate desired outcomes. Integrated multidisciplinary thematic unit used backward design model. Backward design also called backward planning or backward mapping, is a process that educators use to design learning experiences and instructional techniques to achieve specific learning goals. This model has three stages. First is outcome. In outcome, it has a content standard. And a content standard is the knowledge and skills that students should attain or what student should know and be able to do. Second is assessment. In assessment, din makita ang evidence of the level of understanding and the evidence 
of the level of performance. In evidence of the level of understanding, it tackles the six facets of understanding. So these six facets are, are the capacity of to explain, interpret, apply, shift perspective, empathize, and self-assess. While, while in evidence of the level of performance, it is a quiz or set of questions. So, in the last stage, the teaching learning process for each discipline. So, ani ana ang explore, the student's exploration, firming up, paghatag og activities and sets of questions sa teacher deepening and transfer so money siya ang uses of teaching model in integration of multidisciplinary thematic unit use of evaluation and assessment tools of integrated multidisciplinary thematic unit so during the teaching learning process the teacher gi gives some activities for the students which can be assisted, assist, or evaluated. So these tools are the set of questions and the quizzes that the teacher gave to her students for assessing and evaluating the learning of her students. So that ends my part of the topic. For the further discussion, I will now give the floor to my co-member, Ms. Shane G. Buntag. Thank you. Integrated Interdisciplinary Thematic Unit Analysis What is a thematic unit? As mentioned earlier, a thematic unit are units of instructions that address a central theme. These are the instructional units that lead to development of integrated study. Thematic units facilitate the crossing of boundaries between two or more disciplines. What are the 10 guidelines in preparing thematic units? These are the guidelines. Number 1. Choose a learning area in any grade or year level. Number 2. Draw the content from learning competencies. Number 3. Identify the theme for the chosen learning competencies. Number 4. Identify the disciplines or learning area that can help enhance the development of the theme and the supporting learning competencies. Number five, select the appropriate teaching model or alternative teaching strategy that can, that can be utilized in the conduct of the unit of study. Number six, use graphic organizers if needed. Number seven, Prepare appropriate reading as well as for the other subtopic. Number eight, use authentic assessment in the unit of study. Number nine, provide learning tasks that integrative and interactive. Number ten, focus all learning tasks to the theme of unit of study. Integrated interdisciplinary thematic unit, according to Kalo 2003. Explain that interdisciplinary unit is a tool used to link the learning experience of students in many ways to engage them fully in the learning process. Presentation of objectives in interdisciplinary unit is the objectives are not presented by disciplines. In this unit, the objectives are only 12 and were not presented through disciplines. In presentation of content extraction, only the topics are mentioned. Example, the Philippine Archipelago, the founding of the Katipunan, the teachings of the Katipunan, and the song of the Katipuneros. Unlike in the multidisciplinary unit, the topics and the disciplines were both mentioned. Use of teaching models. Teaching models are prescribed tested steps 
and procedures to effectively generate desired outcomes. Use PBL or Problem-Based Learning Model Problem-based learning is a teaching style that pushes students to become the drivers of their learning education. It has four steps. First, orienting students to the problem. To make them familiarize on what they are going to do in that problem, they must orient first. Second, organizing students for study. Being organized, it helps students to prioritize their activities. They can also set to achieve their goals in the study. Third, assisting independent and group investigation. The student must work together to achieve the desired outcome on the problem because in group investigation, it makes students active on how they are going to do. It is like brainstorming. And the fourth is presenting exhibit. They can now present the result with the use of graphic organizers. The use of evaluation and assessment tools in integrated interdisciplinary thematic unit is during the implementation of PBL model in a teaching learning process, the teacher has set of questions for the students to answer that at the end can be assessed or evaluated. Good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. Uh, I'm Darrell Luganisa, and I'm here to report about uh, interdisciplinary teaching. So, uh, I'll be explaining some uh, brief background about what is interdisciplinary teaching. So, as a means of facilitating learning can have a highly positive impact on student learning outcomes largely due to the increased opportunity for student participation that theme teaching provides the nature of interdisciplinary suggests doing something that can be done individually and is not initiated by a single subject so interdisciplinary uh, it involves uh, not just a uh, single person or an individual but it consists of a group or a several group of teachers that uh, uh, applying this uh, kind of a uh, method of what we call the interdisciplinary teaching so uh, this method uh, was created to help uh, both teachers and students to attain uh, their specific needs on both sides as for the teachers and as for the students also. So, uh, what is interdisciplinary teaching? What is interdis interdisciplinary teaching? So, uh, according uh, from uh, the Wikipedia, interdisciplinary teaching is a method or a set of methods used to teach across curricular disciplines or the bringing together of separate disciplines around common themes, issues, or problems. Often, interdisciplinary instruction associated with or component of several other instructional approaches. So here uh, we have a four uh, some uh, definitions about what is interdisciplinary teaching. So first is uh, educational experiences are more authentic and of greater value to students when the curricula reflects real life, which is multifaceted rather than being compart compartmentalized compartmentalized into the need subject matter packages 
real world problems are complex so no single discipline can adequately describe and resolve these issues so uh, according to this uh, uh, definition is uh, interdisciplinary teaching uh, involves some uh, educational experiences no some teachers uh, they have this um, uh, techniques where before they uh, start uh, discussing or focusing to the main to their main uh, subject uh, they first started they first start with an uh, with their experiences uh, to those uh, previous years where when they are teaching or some uh, experiences they can share so that they can um, get the attention of their students and next is interdisciplinary teaching means the use of integration of methods and analytical frameworks from more than one academic discipline to examine a theme issue question or topic so uh, what what we mean by uh, integration of methods is uh, it it could it collects more uh, some uh, instructional values uh, into one or or more so that they can share it to their students and so that it can help their students to examine uh, the, the theme the issue of the question or the topic so interdisciplinary education makes use of disciplinary approaches to examine topics but also takes insights from a variety of relevant disciplines combines their contribution to understanding and then integrates these ideas into more complete and coherent framework so lastly uh, interdisciplinary teaching is different from multi or cross disciplinary teaching in that it requires the integration and synthesis of different per perspectives rather than a simple consideration of multiple viewpoints so uh, that uh, about the interdisciplinary teaching uh, uh, what makes it different from other methods as we can read the, the last uh, definition about the inter the interdisciplinary teaching that uh, it says that it differs from multi or cross disciplinary teaching so uh, it says that um, interdisciplinary teaching is uh, requires the integration and synthesis of different perspective so in other words uh, interdisciplinary teaching uh, it it it's not uh, it's, it's just not uh, it's not just uh, focuses on one uh, perspective but it focuses on different perspective on different area or different aspects so that's what the uh, interdisciplinary teaching uh, dif uh, differs from the other method so so what makes interdisciplinary teaching different so that uh, from what I mentioned er earlier that is uh, one uh, reason or one uh, viewpoint why uh, interdisciplinary interdisciplinary teaching is different so a single disciplinary perspective often has limitations as it is driven by the norms and frameworks of a particular discipline without consideration and incorporation of alternative views so a single disciplinary is uh, is an opposite method of interdisciplinary teaching so inter a single disciplinary perspective uh, says that uh, it has limitations because uh, it, it's only driven by the norms and frameworks of a particular discipline without consideration and incorporation of alternate alternative views whereas the uh, the interdisciplinary teaching 
as we can read uh, before the definition that the last definition is uh, it uh, it requires the integration of synthesis and synthesis of different perspective so it just as 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 what I have said before it it also uh, focuses on other perspective on other aspects uh, in contrast to the single disciplinary where it uh, it is only focuses and and has limitations so the single disciplinary view can lead to hegemony hegemony so which prevents critical assessment of both their own and other perspective so uh, single disciplinary you can lead to hegemony so what is hegemony so uh, hegemony means a uh, dominance or it is a fo uh, focused on on one uh, on one one person one-sided only one 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 viewpoint so whereas interdisciplinary teaching uh, it involves uh, two or more uh, persons or a group so it is con in contrast to the single disciplinar disciplinary so in contrast interdisciplinary education draws on multiple disciplines to acquire a deep and and thorough understanding of complex issues and challenges so this is what uh, uh, interdisciplinary uh, uh, different from the or uh, has an advantage towards single disciplinary so interdisciplinary teaching increases student learning by engaging students and helping them develop knowledge insights problem solving skills self-confidence self-efficacy and passion for learning so this is what uh, interdisciplinary uh, unique among or to the other uh, teaching methods so interdisciplinary involves uh, the 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 students or uh, this method helps the students to engage to help them participate in the class and it helps them to develop their cognitive skills their participation skills their uh, their uh, thinking abilities so uh, this is what interdisciplinary uh, uh, differs or it has an advantage to the other uh, methods of teaching so what is interdisciplinary team teaching so as what I have said before uh, interdisciplinary teaching not uh, it involves um, a group or um, group or um, four or how many teachers it involves in teaching so team teaching involves a group of instructors working purposefully regularly and cooperatively cooperate cooperate cooperatively to help students learn the training main mental so um, uh, this method involves a group of instructors so it's that it's not just only one but it consists of two or more or a group so they are meeting together uh, like teachers are meeting in faculty or talking about uh, what would they uh, do if or what or they would suggest to one another to one another if how can they do this or how or what method of teaching can they use in a particular um, a group of students or in a classroom so this is what uh, interdisciplinary uh, Dif um, 
uh, advan as an advantage to the teachers. So three main types of teaching, two or more teachers sharing responsibilities. So uh, team planning, but individual instruction and joint planning, instruction and evaluation of learning experience. So teachers are, are sharing with one another, sharing their ideas, sharing their uh, uh, teaching methods, sharing their technic techniques in teaching so that they can help to one another or uh, especially when new teachers arrive or and then they can advise some of the uh, uh, new newly high hard teachers or on, on what they can do or the best they can do of teaching so different level levels of collaboration collaboration means uh, collaboration uh, is uh, collaboration yeah it means uh, helping with one another or you are uh, inviting or somewhat you are joining uh, together so that you can help each other so courses planned by a group of trainers and later taught individually by members of the group or low level of collaboration courses that are co-planned co-taught and evaluated by a pair of group of teachers these courses are self-contained with instructors working simultaneously in the classroom or high level of collaboration so elements of partnership and interdisciplinary team teaching so we have three of uh, the elements that are uh, included or associated in interdisciplinary team of team teaching uh, uh, here we have experience personality and working style and beliefs about learning so as a uh, as a teacher so experience helps in teaching and it really helps uh, upgrading or upgrading or making your teaching method uh, effective so next is personality and working style so teachers have different uh, personality and uh, and also have different working style or a uh, teaching style so uh, teachers uh, uh, think differently or they would think of somewhat what is the best method of teaching in their class or what is the best um, uh, best ways so that they can uh, get the attention of their students or help the students uh, cope up with their studies or in their subject and beliefs about learning so teachers have different uh, techniques teachers have different um, approach uh, of what they can do in classroom so uh, teachers have di uh, di different beliefs that uh, on what method they can do so of what are the uh, effective way on uh, teaching then lastly benefits and challenges of interdisciplinary team teaching so here we are uh, we have um, nine uh, benefits and challenges of interdisciplinary team teaching so team teaching requires different preparation than traditional single instructor courses particularly concerning the organizational aspects of course management so instructors should integrate different disciplinary approaches by referring to each other in lectures and presentations team teaching allows students to observe high-level intellectual debate among 
colleagues. So team teaching, uh, this is um, uh, what we call this one, um, uh, interesting uh, uh, way of teaching because uh, it involves two or more teachers and students also love or want to participate especially when it is all uh, when it is about uh, debating of certain ideas and next students learn to disagree without hostility while debating different topics so uh, this is a a good uh, benefits of uh, interdisciplinary te team teaching so students can participate whether they can di disagree or disagree so it's it's not just the teachers but also can students can participate and can uh, say their opinion next they learn how to encounter new material through a variety of perspectives and gain a practical knowledge of different academic disciplines so uh, students can uh, encounter new material not just the traditional one the tr traditional way uh, they can discover new um, ideas this they can uh, it really helps students to discover uh, a way of participating in the class so increased amount of feedback from instructors and trainers so trainers must adjust their teaching practices to invite many different responses to a particular questions or issue it allows instructors to improve their pedag pedagogical skills and develop new topics for research and scholarship. So this uh, this really helps uh, the teachers to improve their teaching skills, their teaching techniques on how they can teach their students in different way, and students also can. Uh, uh, can give interest to the teachers or they can uh, think that oh this is uh, a, a new um, a new experience next uh, lastly improved learning outcomes due to increased student teacher interaction as well as a multi-dimensional approach to subject matter so interdisciplinary interdisciplinary team teaching uh, has a big uh, benefits uh, in both uh, to both teachers and students because it helps increase the interaction between the two. Now it it really uh, uh, helps or this. Uh, if there's an interaction between students and teachers, it really uh, gives an enjoyment to the both uh, to the both parties. You no, know, it it really uh, gives um, a big learning or some a new experience, especially to the students, because students. Uh, um, some are uh, are shy to to speak up. Some some are um, don't know how to is to express their their ideas. So this uh, method really helps in uh, developing the inter the interaction between the students and the teacher. So that's my. Uh, report about uh, what is uh, interdisciplinary teaching and lastly so why is uh, interdisciplinary interdisciplinary teaching important so that is uh, this is my last uh, part so interdisciplinary teaching is important because it helps advance critical thinking and good cognitive development so when we say about cognitive development, it refers to a mental process that is involved in gaining knowledge and comprehension, especially to the students. Now, uh, interdisciplinary teaching helps students 
to express their ideas, to overcome their uh, their shyness in speaking in speaking up their ideas. No, it, it really helps their mental or cognitive 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 aspect because uh, it really uh, it really helps their thinking, knowing, remembering, judging, and problem solving. So, uh, inter interdisciplinary is uh, very important in teaching method. So that's uh, my report, sir, about the interdisciplinary teaching.